Hey, this is Type V3, and let's burn through this SH Figure Arts review of Sailor Mars, the soldier of flame and passion, or simply, Ray. As it's plainly obvious to see, Sailor Mars utilizes the same Figure Arts body as Sailor Moon, along with some minor changes and a color swap. The result is a great looking action figure. Now, I'm not going to delve deep into the overall aesthetics, but I can assure you that the sculpting and paintwork are of the same high quality finish seen with previous releases in the toy line. Instead, I'll focus on all the changes exclusive to this toy. First of which, her feet. Ray's fiery hot heels look good with their metallic finish. If anything, I think the top edges could have been more pronounced in their sculpting. As for her lower legs, well, because she has no boots, they're slightly thinner, which can give the ankle joint a bulbous look from certain angles. Personally, I don't find these to be too much of a visual detractor. Next is Ray's head sculpt, and it's a spot on representation of her appearance in the anime. Her long black hair has some nice lining, and there's even violet highlighting sprinkled across it. Though if I'm honest, I think her hair would have been much more attractive had it been molded in translucent violet plastic and then painted black over top, much in the same way that Serena's hair was done. It just feels like a missed opportunity to elevate her look. In terms of faces, Sailor Mars comes with a total of four. They range from smiling, to determined, to yelling, and even a focused, meditating expression. They all stare straight, which I like. However, I would have loved inclusions of an annoyed or winking expression. Articulation with Sailor Mars shouldn't be too surprising. It's the same Sailor Moon body, so she's got everything that you'd expect her to have. The only real changes that she comes with are in her hair, and that is that they can now flare outwards to create even more... Uh, it looks like flowing hair. There's two joints connected uh, on the underside of the hair, so you don't see it from the outside, but when you want to use them, they're there, and when you don't, they're hidden, so it's nice. The only thing that's uh, a problem with the hair for me is that it's sculpted at an angle, so it's never resting on her back, and when she's just standing there, sometimes it looks kind of funny. This also creates another issue that's involved with her feet. If you look at her heels, there's very little surface area for her to basically support herself, especially when compared to the other Sailor Scouts who have just the larger boots. Uh, so where Sailor Mercury here can just be planted down just fine, Sailor Mars takes a little bit more work to do, and with that top-heavy hair, she tends to fall back, and if she's not falling back, then she's leaning forward. And uh, so standing her, while not impossible, is tricky, and usually she doesn't look natural on her own. Thankfully, like the other Sailor Scouts, she does come with her own custom display stand that just says Sailor Mars. And of course, you can just plop her on this however you see fit to just stand her up. So there's that. Accessories included with Sailor Mars are mostly an assortment of hands. The first four pairs, which include two types of fists, open palms, and dynamic fingers, will let you recreate almost any pose Rey has done in her transformation sequence. Then there's her connected pointing finger hands, which when combined with her meditation face, create her fireball attack. Sadly, there's no fire effect parts included. Lastly is a special right hand meant for holding a single talisman. I'll admit the connection isn't the most secure, but its versatility as an accessory is great since it allows you to exercise evil spirits from anyone. And hey, that's just fun. Let's face it, with SH Figure Arts Sailor Mars being more or less a repaint of Sailor Moon, there's nothing much I could have said about this toy that you didn't already know. It's a really good figure, and that's kind of it. Sure, I would have loved to have seen minor changes and an included fire effect part, but nothing presented here is truly damaging. In fact, it's Rey's status as a supporting character that's the real issue here. Because of this, her overall package was never going to outclass her leaders. With that said, if you're just after the best Sailor Scout overall, Serena is still the figure to go for. On the other hand, if you have a passion for fire and your favorite color is red, then you'll thoroughly be satisfied with SH Figure Arts Sailor Mars. After all, it's not like you have any other options to choose from. Anyways, this has been Type V3. Thanks for watching, and even though Mars is probably the weakest SH Figure Arts Sailor Scout, she's still my favorite. As for what's next, well, you don't need to look any further than the approaching beautiful light.